In the dead of night, when the moon yawned down, two gloomy robber dogs plodded through town. They got to their house and they flopped down inside. We're no good at robbing at all, Shifty sighed. He tipped out their swag bag, but nothing was there, except for a spider, who gave them a scare. You're right, nodded Sam. We're bad at this job. And think of the places we just couldn't rob. The bank and the butchers, the paper shop too, the bookshop, the bike shop, and even the zoo. Hey, we should rob somewhere less tricky, Sam cried. Like where, muttered Shifty. Where haven't we tried? Our neighbours, yelled Sam with a whoop and a shout. But hang on, groaned Shifty. They never go out. He paced up and down. We'll invite them to tea. A party, he sniggered. Oh, clever old me. And then, when the neighbours are here having fun, we'll sneak to their houses and rob everyone. But parties have food, grumbled Sam. We can't cook. Don't worry, said Shifty. We've got this cookbook. They started with doughnuts, and to their surprise, they turned out just right. So they cooked some fruit pies. Now cupcakes, cried Shifty, and let's ice them too. I never knew baking was fun, Sam, did you? The party day came and the neighbours piled in. How lovely, said one with a big curly grin. They gasped with delight when the food was set down. So creamy, so dreamy, the best buns in town. Why, thank you, blushed Shifty. It's nothing, beamed Sam. Would you care for a donut with raspberry jam? Now's our moment, his Shifty. They're all drinking tea. We need to get robbing, I think. Follow me. As they sneaked through the window, they hadn't a clue that a neighbour had heard what they wanted to do. They're thieves, he said crossly. I think it's time that we all put a stop to this terrible crime. As the robber dogs went to see what they could find, all of their neighbours were creeping behind. Oh, wow, whispered Sam as they slunk through a door. They'd never seen so many goodies before. Then all of a sudden, the door opened wide. No, you don't, yelled their neighbours, bursting inside. But the Scotty dog suddenly started to sob. My teddy, he sniffled. They stole Big Eared Bob. Don't cry, pleaded Shifty, and Sam turned quite pink. We're sorry, they murmured. We just didn't think. We see now that robbing makes everyone sad, but we still need a job, just a job that's not bad. I know, cried the sausage dog, nodding his head. Why don't you open a cafe instead? A cafe, gasped Shifty. Do you think that we could? Oh, yes, cried the others. You'd be really good. So the very next week, on the town's busy street, their new cafe opened, all shiny and neat. It had white polished tables and chairs with pink hearts, and it served yummy cupcakes and little jam tarts. Oh, wow, grinned Shifty. Just look at that queue. All our neighbours are waiting, and other dogs too. Sam peered from the window and fluffed up his hat. No more robbing, he nodded. We're done with all that. Now Shifty and Sam never grumble or groan. They love baking cakes and they leave crime alone. And as for their swag bag, I'm happy to say they crumpled it up and they chucked it away.